Hey y'all, Iron here, and today we're going to try out Gunsmith Simulator. Now, I've actually never played this game, but, um, so we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. It looks like a fun simulator game, um, about being a gunsmith. I wish there was more to say, but I think the title kind of explains it all. All right, so fresh save, never played this before, so let's give it a shot here. All right, so we got a computer. Let's see here. Oh, we got mail. Oh, this is nice. Okay. My beloved grandson. I uh, sent you a pistol through Gunsmith Services. It's a Colt uh, M1911. All right. Let's fix the gun. Grandpa's Colt. Okay. Not a Colt 45, just a Colt. All right. So we're going to add a laser attachment to it. Reconfigure, repair. Okay, cool. Pretty standard. At least I assume so. So let's see here. Oh, we got a case. So we say, yeah, we want to work on this. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, that's very detailed. I like that a lot. All right, so here we go. Short recoil, developed in 1911 by John Browning. Best short weapon in its time. Okay, and here's all the stats on it and the work that we got to do. Okay. This game, hey, this game just throws you right in and lets you get going. I like that. All right, so we can uh, modify by altering their configuration. Okay, so you can see here this requires some milling. The client wants rails on his. With client, I mean grandpa, of course. All right, so we need to disable the gun. Let's see here, we can look around, zoom in, hints, and... Seems like it. Oh, okay. Oh, got a little close and deep in there. Um, orbit cameras left alt. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so let's just try this out. So let's see here. Remove the clip. Oh, we got to remove. Oh, apparently there's a clip inside the clip. Oh, the camera's really messing with me here. Not that easy to work with. It's like the Orbit one's the best one. Okay, so what do I do with this? All right, there's a magazine spring. And then what do I do with this stuff? Now do, how do I set it down? I guess I don't. So let's take a look around here. Uh, I gotta, I gotta increase camera speed. It's driving me insane how slow it is. All right. Uh, so let's see, remove that. And then do I, no, I see all the stuff right here, but I guess I can't do anything with it. All right. Uh, oh, that's a lot better when you get that camera moving. All right. Uh, we're popping parts out of here. That's the slide. Uh, what else we got to pull? Magazine. What was that? The magazine latch. All right. And then, oh, got some more parts for me to pop here. I promise I'll, I'll get used to this. <laughs> promise. Um, and then we got this. Okay. Now we can pull the slide. Okay, cool. What's this in here? This is the firing pin stop. Okay. And the firing pin itself. Um, I thought you would put it on the thing down here, but I guess not. Um, all right. Uh, so we need to pop some more parts off here. The main spring housing. All right. So it looks like there's a pin right there. And then grip safety. And the hammer itself. And there's a pin right here. All right, this is neat. I'm learning a lot. There's eight pieces left that I got to figure out here. Oh, there's a firing pin. Or there's a pin spring. And it's broken pretty bad. All right, uh, give me some hints here. Okay, hammer strut. And then it seems like there's an ejector here. 
And that probably helps eject casings as you're popping off. Um, what's this? The sear holds the hammer back until it's the correct amount of pressure has been applied. Okay. Looks like it's held in by a pin. All right, trigger holder. Oh, and the trigger itself. Okay. Uh, what else? Disconnector. Oh, give me a hint. There's a disconnector over here. That's attached to the sear. Okay. All right. So, oh, it's a little breakdown here. So we got some broken stuff. We got missing stuff. Dirty. And stuff that's good. Okay. Buy or make new. Clean it with a rag. And this has to be scrapped and probably rebought. Okay. Oh, this this is a lot better to work with. I can deal with this. Um, all right. So it wants me to leave the table. And it says here, some parts are dirty. Clean it with a rag. And then you got to buy some parts. Okay. So shopping list. There's my shopping list. So let's go to the parts shop. And... Can I enter like Colt 1911? All right. And then what do I need here? I need a hammer strut. So can I type in here? I need a strut. Okay. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, I need a spring, a magazine spring. So this is the magazine spring. Uh, undermount rails. All right, so rails. Oh, just rail. Left and right. Uh, oh, I get some more springs here. Sear spring and the firing pin spring. So let's see here. Sear, firing pin and the sear. So here's the sear spring, and I need a firing pin spring. All right, and then I need a laser. So it looks like that's going to be retrofit. So let's go ahead and buy all this. And then we go to retrofit. Okay, so this makes sense. It's actually showing you the icon here. Uh, handgun lasers. Now, is this the right? Handgun laser. Okay. So we'll go ahead and buy that. Hopefully that's the correct one. Yes. Okay, shopping list is done. Look at that. I'm master already. Given I live out near the woods, I can man up near a million different gun ranges. I'm going to go show off. All right. So cleaning table. So we need to. Uh, all right. So these are selected and just say confirm. And then what do you do? Oh, okay. So. Okay. That was it. Oh. Seems okay. Well, it's very simple, thankfully. I like how it just does it for you. It's like, okay, here you go. Just take them. All right. Uh, it cleaned and oiled. Okay. All right. New parts need to go on. So let's go over here. Now, these parts are need to be placed on the assembly table. Hammer strut. Okay, so you just highlight them, tell me you want to. All right. Simple, simple. I like it. it. Makes me feel like I'm doing stuff. All right, pick up the oiling rag. And what? Okay, so these are the ones that all needed. Okay, not even have to rub them, you just gotta click them. Well, hey, this ain't too bad. I can get behind this. Looks like the new part had to be cleaned there, yeah. Oh, you had to oil them. Not clean. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Well, get back to this odd camera. I understand what they're trying to do here. It's just a little awkward. All right, so let's see here. Put that pin back in. Now, what was that? That was the hammer strut. Okay. Um, these are the rails. Yeah. 
rail goes in, and then what else we need to do? Oh, this is the firing pin that goes on the firing pin and spring, and then what you put that in, and then you need the firing pin stop. Perfect. And then give me some hints here. All right, so the ejector needs to go in. There's the other rail. Oh, cool. I actually want to swing it around for the view here as we put it on. I mean, why play this game if you're not going to get in there on the details here? All right, here we go. Simple enough. All right, looks good. I got worried for a second it was actually truly red, but just red while you're putting it together. All right, this is the magazine spring and the magazine pusher. So I think that's all done. Uh, the trigger goes into the trigger holder. Okay, that goes back in. Now this is the sear and the sear, this connector. So these work with the hammer itself. And I gotta put the pin in. Now this should, now the hammer can't go in. So this is saying that I need the sear spring in. Then I assume the hammer can go in, yes. All right. What else can we work on? Grip safety. If that needs pinned in, no. Oh, that's because the safety lock pins in. All right. Uh, let's see here. Forgot about that. Now, what was that? Won't tell me now. All right. Uh, it's complaining about something over here. So that is the magazine catch. Oops. All right. Uh, yeah, magazine catch goes in there. It looks like there's a pin for it. Um, all right. Now we can put the slide on. So it looks like the magazine has to wait. All right. Then this is the slide stop. And the barrel bushing. Now, what's this? This is the recoil spring plug. Oh, I see. It goes in the front there. Hold on, let's take a look here. Yeah, right there. Okay. All right. And then we got the magazine. All right. All right. So we got that. We need to change the attachment. So it looks like we go over here. A little deep in there. All right, um, I did buy the handgun laser attachment. I right, leave that there for now. Oh, I guess I need to pick it up. This is the. All right, so I got the handgun laser attachment now. So you got to pick it up from delivery and put it on. Wait, and change the guns attachments. Oh, okay. Is it, oh, it's right here. Ooh, a little hidden there. All right, so that is done. All right, and then send it to the client or test in the shooting range. Well, let's test it out. So, oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. I got a drawer here for all my guns. Uh... Let's take it to the shooting range, just give it a shot and see what happens. Oh, wow, we're, we're driving off and everything. Okay. All right. Um, press the aim. This to fire and F to change the fire selector. Uh, if you brought guns, you can select them here. And some, you can switch the sights. Okay, and scope and ammunition. These are the key binds, in case you forget. Well, this is different. I'm so used to it being like a first-person shooter instead of it holding a gun up like that. All right, let's just try free shooting. All right, uh, what's this? Oh, okay, so you can set up the... Uh, targets right here oh let's i was i'm selecting these let's get the closer ones to start this is just a handgun um all right 
Not bad. Wow, listen to that sound. Uh, oh yeah, that's going off on my screen here, checking the sound levels. Oh boy. All right, and then can I... Oh, toggle. Oh yeah, there's a laser on it. Um, let's see here. What's this? What's this right here? Oh, you can uh, remove attachments and stuff. Okay. Well, I I, I know I really can't do uh, skeet with a handgun. I don't think. Uh. Oh, it's gonna let me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um. All right. Uh, I think there was something else we could try too. I think there was an indoor environment. And then I guess I can't put my gun away if I'm trying to do stuff. All right, so CQB, what's the stand for? Close quarter burst? I don't know. I don't know. Some of the you, your gun guys can put it in the comments. I'm not positive. Um, so what do how do I do oh bottle shooting? Uh yeah. Uh, safety's turned on. How did I turn safety off? Uh, whoops. Oh, so fire, if you change the fire mode, I see. Oh, okay, good thing there's a watermelon. What's over here? All right, that's pretty cool. I love the sound effect for the guns. I'm probably gonna have to turn it down because it is very loud. Uh, static targets, please. Uh, so let's see here. All right, what do, how do we do this? Oh, uh, red's bad, all right? Shoot all the red targets, yeah. All right, uh, one. Oh, two, uh, three, four, uh, five, six, reload. All right, keep count. Reload, yep. Look at that. I'm like John Wick. Oh, it's a seven shot. Sorry, I thought it was six. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not a gun guy. That's for sure. Uh, I'll turn the laser on too while we're at it for fun. Yeah, this is probably a terrible time. All right. Uh, yeah, we didn't hit any civilians, so it's good. All right, so let's wrap this up and then let's see if we can get another gun in here. Um, so let's head back to the workshop. Now I don't have to fix this, do I? We'll see. There's my beautiful workshop. All right. Uh, send it back to the client. So, oh, we have to get it out, I think. Yes, I want it. Give it to me. Thank you. I desired this gun. Now I got to send it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it goes right back in the case and everything. Oh, a little bit of rock in there. Uh, no reward or anything like that, but we got a skill point, so let's see. Alright, oh, we gotta go to the PC and then actually send it. Alright, looks good. Send back. Alright, we did our first thing here. Uh, so, looks wonderful, super happy with it. Give you some more weapons in the future. All right, great. Oh, okay, so look at this. Now everyone's like, hey. Oh, I kind of want to do this up. I want to do the shotgun. Because I want to really do some skeet shooting. Maintenance work. Uh, it has facing on the sun. 
yeah, so let's see here. Let's give this a shot, see what happens. Um oh what's the star thingy? Oh this is Oh skills and mastery. Okay. Oh look at this. When you work on the same one, provides benefits. So quick disassembly, quick assembly. And disassembly. Okay. Oh, and then wow, look at this. You get trees. Chemistry, rust blaster. Um, I don't even know. Uh, just do screw master. Look, <laughs> call me the screw master. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, work on since work on something is loose inside. Yes. <laughs> okay, look at this bad boy. Okay, so this is a Mossberg M fifty nine O A one, designed in uh nineteen sixty one. Uh, model five ninety magazines are designed to be opened at the muzzle end that are on the magazine tube. Okay, just need some repairs. So let's uh get this on the table and start working with it. All right, uh, trigger guard, yank that off. Uh, get the pins out. All right, looks good. So try to figure out how to use this. So it looks like there's a pin in here. Plunger, okay. Oh, there's a spring on it too. And then you got the main spring guide and the hammer. Oh, there's a lot in this little... Oh my gosh, look at all this. There's the disconnector. And you got the action lock lever. Wow, there's so much inside of that one little part. Um, all right. Let's see. Where do we go next? And, oh, there's actually a sear in here. Didn't see that. Oh, and then this connector on this. All right. I think that's it for the trigger. Hmm. So it looks like this is the next part of it. Safety slide. Uh, cartridge interrupter. What's this do? Shell movement. It prevents double feeding. Okay. And then it looks like there's something else over here. So let's. Oh, it's part. Okay. And then inside of there's the bolt. And the elevator assembly. Now, what's that? Does that help get the shells up? All right. What else am I missing? Um. Man, I tell you what. Uh, bolt. I'm going to learn how to use these cameras someday. Uh, let's see, we need to zoom in. And then inside of here, there's, oh, the firing pin and spring. All right, looks good. Oh, okay. So these are broken, and we just need to clean these up. So not much. It looks like what you're probably hearing is a spring rattling around. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Get the parts that we need for this bad boy. And they're all going to be here at Stock and Barrel. Uh, let's see here. Can we search Mossberg? Yeah. And then we're looking for a pin, a spring, and a sear. So let's see here. Whoops. Pin. Firing pin. Uh, the main spring guide. Main spring guide. Oops. Let me do that. And then the sear. All right. That was easy enough for this one. Uh, so 30 bucks. Say okay. Um, and then let's see. Look at our parts here that got shipped over. And then we need to clean up really quick. So we got five things that I need cleaned up. Should be quick and easy. Kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle. Throw them my way, I'll wiggle. 
All right. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Let's spin it. Let's not get clean. There we go. Now you can rotate the parts, but it doesn't seem like it's super necessary. Most of it seems like you can kind of just wiggle, wiggle around it and be done. All right. So we are done there. So we need to put the new parts in here. Here's the main spring guide in the sear. Okay. All right. So we'll grab this and we'll oil up some parts. Oh, can you kind of just do, 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 Yeah. I thought you had to wait, but it seems like you can kind of fire through that quickly. Um, all right. Zoom in, please. All right. So let's see here. All right. So it wants us to start with the safety mechanism. All right. Put that in there. Okay. I see. And then the safety slide on the back and the screw. Perfect. Uh, give me some hints here. All right. So we'll put the spring on the firing pin and the firing pin inside of the bolt. Oh, and then you can just jump that right in. Perfect. What else we got? The elevator assembly. Oh, I thought you had to pin that back there. All right. So it looks like it's time to work on the bolt slide and everything. Oh, that goes right in. And then what? Work on the trigger stuff then. Okay. Oh, uh, this goes here on the trigger itself. Oh, we gotta get the sear in. Looks good. And we'll pin that. And we'll figure out how this camera works again. Okay, so I can't put this in yet. Oh, because I need to put the cartridge chop and hammer in. All right, the hammer's in. Main spring guy, which we just bought. We gotta put the plug back, the plunger back in. So it seems like that's done. So I'll get the cartridge interrupter back in there. And then put the trigger back on. Uh oh wait. There we go. Alright. So let's take a look here. Let's actually take this over to and let's give this a, sh a shot, I guess. Is that, is that a shooting pun? I'm not sure. Um, let's start here. I actually want to try out uh, this key. <clears throat> and my car just drove off without me. I'm just sitting here staring at the beautiful screens. All right. Um, we're not going to do competitive skeet. I just want to try it out. Uh, one, uh, go to the high level position, follow the instructions. No, I, yeah, I just gotta. All right, press G to throw a disc. The game mode will end. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, neither was the game. Jeez. Oh, I d <laughs> I'm not good at this game. Did I get that? Probably should reload before I... <laughs> Alright, here we go. I don't think I'm hitting anything. I think I'm very bad. Eat. I forgot to reload again. I think I got that one. Okay. Here, myself. Reload. And stop shooting and stop throwing the disc before you're ready. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh. Uh. I don't think I'm winning, guys. Just gonna be honest with you. Uh, four of twenty. Yeah, don't think I was winning that one. I right, go ahead and reload that. 
All right, let's take it indoors and see how testing with that goes. I really hope there's some like fun sights to play with and stuff like that too later on, probably with the better, bigger guns. All right. Uh, I'm not worried about, well, I guess this range, can I actually run on it? Or do I have to stay behind the uh, tire barrier? Let's find out. All right, we are here and we're ready to shoot. All right, this is nine shots in here. And you got to pump in between each one. Oh, yeah, you can just run in here and start shooting. Are these... Oh, these are plates. Got some apples. Oh! What was it? William Teller? What the hell was the name of the apple guy? William Tell? Well, I don't remember. Please don't. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that shot the apple? Oh, I don't remember. Okay. Let's go inside and try this out. Uh, then we'll probably wrap up here, but let's see. All right, we're going to do static targets. All right. I think we're all good on ammo and stuff. All right. All right, off to a good start. No one there. Oh boy. All right, reload. Come on, reload. Jeez, he takes forever to reload. I'm going to have to buy... Do they make cartridges, magazines for shotguns? I have to assume so. There we go. Uh, Okay, not bad. Oh, you can go upstairs. What's up here? Oh, you can just see? I don't know. Oh, I guess you could scope the course. Maybe there's a secret up here. Nope. Just a waste of time. All right. Um. So let's see here then. You know, we can't hop off. I was gonna say. So let's get our butts back to the shop here, and we'll send this off. Now that we've broken it in sufficiently. <laughs> you think the guy's gonna get it back and be like, "I know this was fired." Like, why are you taking my guns and shooting them off? But I get you're gonna have to pay me now for the gun. Um, all right, so let's see here. Get our super secret weapon drawer. Pop that bad boy out. And we'll click through. There we go. Beautiful. Get your guitars out. All right, they're happy. Parts, but it looks good. Proficient. All right, well, we're actually going to wrap it up there for now. Um, this is very fun. It's not a super systems heavy game where you're doing a bunch of things like an RPG or something like that. It's very kind of just click and have fun. Um, but I really like it. I love simulator games and I love games. I love simulator games that aren't super hard. Uh, sometimes sometimes it's fun just to play a game and relax. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take off then. Thank you so much for watching today. Please. If you enjoyed the comment, subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment, you know, anything really helps grow the channel, helps keep these videos coming. But once again, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.